Hey, I'm Dr. Gardner, and tonight I wanted to talk about another amazing herb. It's called astragalus, and it's also known as milk vetch because farmers used to think that it would help increase milk production in their cows, which to my knowledge, it does not do. However, it has a lot of other really amazing medicinal qualities and a lot of studies to back that up. It is studied for its anti-tumor properties, and it's also been a helpful adjunct to chemotherapy. There was also a study done in beagle puppies who underwent castration and some of the dogs that were on the astragalus, the polysaccharide that's in astragalus specifically, which is one of the active components, at a dose of about 400 milligrams per kilogram, actually showed improved healing compared to dogs that got a higher dose and dogs that got none at all. And it was a small study, but it was still very encouraging. And there are also a lot of other studies out there. I will put links to some of those in the description below if you want to look into it more. Astragalus has been around for a long time. It was used and still is used today in traditional Chinese medicine as a qi tonic. And so it's been very beneficial for that. I think that it could be very helpful, especially in our aging dog population, because it has a lot of kidney benefits, heart benefits, immune benefits, and acts as an antioxidant. And of course, as I said earlier, has these anti-tumor properties. We do primarily use the root and it's a pretty hardy plant it grows in zones about five to nine and we harvest the root in the fall or the early spring and then you slice it up dry it and then you can make it into a powder or you can make it into a tincture and I'll also add it to broth if I'm making a soup or if I'm going to give it to my pets I can add it into something that I'm cooking with it like rice or something like that so that they can get the benefits this is my little astragalus. This is actually from my class I took at the Chi Institute and they give you samples of all the herbs. And so this is what the dried root looks like. And it smells really earthy. It's like wood right now. It's a dried root, but it's very, very sweet. It tastes very good. I don't really have any problem giving it to animals. And the doses really widely range <laughs> as usual. So you don't really have a set dose. You'll get anywhere from 50 milligrams per kilogram all the way up to what was cited in that study at 400 milligrams per kilogram. I always recommend starting slow. You, you don't wanna give too much of it and you don't wanna give it to anyone that has an autoimmune condition. And of course you should always check with your vet, especially if your dog has any particular type of issues or is on a medication. And of course, always giving anything internally to any dog can always potentially cause gastric upset, vomiting, diarrhea, anorexia. So you just have to be careful with that. But if you've ever tried astragalus in your dogs, I would love to hear from you. And if you've ever tried it yourself, I would love to hear the effects for you. And I hope that you will write in with any questions or comments. I hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time.